Hello, this is Stephen from ShoreSeasonGarden.com and I'm going to talk about using a cold frame to extend the season. Now, last fall I used the cold frame. I planted some greens, some beets and some carrots late in the fall. Thought I'd try an experiment. Uh, if you plant your vegetables long enough before the Persephone days of winter when we have less than 10 hours of sunlight per day, the plants will grow and if you can get them to maturity by those dates uh, the theory is that you can harvest them all winter long so i tried this and as you can see i harvested some greens then i covered my uh, bed with my cold frame with straw did my best to cover it with a blanket and see how it would survive the winter and you can see that we have fairly severe winters here a lot of snow it's very cold and so come spring I opened up the cold frame and unfortunately it seemed to be a, a failure I had some carrots that survived uh, if I had planted them early in, enough they probably would have been a good size but as it turned out I planted them quite late so they were very tasty but very small so overwintering is is tough in zone three but still you can use your cold frame late into the fall and I'm starting again this spring I've started some lettuce in the house and again I'm I'm pushing the envelope I started too early but you can see it needs set out so I went out to my cold frame on a frosty morning the first of April and you can see by my indoor outdoor thermometer that it's minus 3.3 outside uh, but it's I got it up to 16 degrees Celsius inside the uh, cold frame so I was busy hardening harding the seedlings off because they do need set out but two days later this is what my cold frame looks like so you can see that zone 3 is a challenge but it's fun to try experiments and push the envelope on both ends of the season i hope you enjoyed my little video please subscribe if you haven't uh, click that notification bell and also go to shortseasongarden.com for more short season gardening videos